Well, here's the can. But no sign of Nasef. To the riverbank, then. Looking for a man named Nasef. Aye, I know him. Takes care of the cans. Wait, you didn't think I was him, did you? Sorry, mate, I'm just out to gym me sell a few Ibexes. What do you want with the lad, anyway? Uh, his friend, Katav, asked me to look for him. Apparently he ventured out to work on one of these cans. ...and didn't return. Well, that is a worry. You're a hunter, yes? You must know the woods as well as anyone. Can you think where he might have gone? Uh, there's a bridge further down the path. Blasted thing got washed away a few moons back. Our carpenter only recently had time to rebuild it. But if I remember rightly... ...there is another cairn on the far side. Maybe he decided to visit that one while he was here. Maybe... It's worth a look, certainly. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'll keep an eye out, too. Perhaps he just got delayed or something. Let's hope so. Smith has an appetite for the things.
This must be the bridge the hunter was talking about. Oh, thank you. Uh... I'm the tributary's guest. And you must be Nasef. I am? But how do you know that? Your friend Katav asked me to look for you when you didn't return. Ah... Uh, I'm sorry. I was so focused on attuning the cairn, I didn't see those creatures come until it was too late. How exactly do they work? Oh, that there are crystals inside. They're what keeps the glamour going. Should the ether cease to flow through too many of them, our shroud would quickly unravel. It's my job to make sure that doesn't happen. And an important job it is. But you'll struggle to do it if you're dead. You need to take more care. Yeah, no arguments there. The truth is, me and Katav usually work together, watching each other's backs like. But when we heard outsiders were coming, we split up to get the job done faster, so things would be perfect for your arrival. Stupid, I know. So you found him then? Not before the local fauna did. My arrival seemed to put them off their dinner. <laughs> Mustn't have been hungry after all. Expect you'll be wanting someone to escort you back to the village then, Nasef. Woods are full of nasties today. When you're next in Haven, be sure to come and see us. You saved my life. It's only right I repay you. If you insist. Take care now.
I thought I'd lost you. But you saw to it that I was found. Thank you. Nasev told me everything. If you hadn't got there when you did... Oh, it doesn't bear thinking about. All that matters is that you're safe. Far be it from me to tell you how to do your jobs, but... Don't go alone again. Or if we have to, maybe we should think about casting the glamour on ourselves to keep the wildlife from spotting us. It'd take its toll, of course, but it'd beat letting the cairns fall and having to weave the entire spell from scratch. Imagine if we had to do that. <laughs> I'd rather not. We'd only succeed in adding two new piles of stone to the collection. Your bearers? That we are, thank the tides. The others can't attune to the crystals in the cairns the same way we can. Reckon this place would be doomed without us. <laughs> so, you do this work for the good of your people, not because... We're forced to. No. From what I've heard of the way things work on the outside, we were truly blessed that our rain fell here in Mysidia. Our people are few enough as it is. If we started turning on each other, kin against kin, over nothing but a stupid accident of birth, our days would be numbered. They would. Anyway, all's well that ends well, eh? Thanks to you, both of us live to keep this place hidden another day.